my name is Queen Maggie, and you're welcome to another segment of Reason with Queen. We know we have a lot of violence in Nigeria, like abuse of drugs and a whole lot of things. But another thing that is becoming a global problem, a national problem, is gambling. All kind of gambling, especially this football gambling thing. They have different companies that, you know, sponsor it and the rest of it. It's a problem, a very big problem, that if it is not well addressed, it's going to consume a lot of people. And the thing is, it does not have age brackets because a lot of people think that it's only the youth that gamble their life away. No, there are a lot of old men, retiree, even all those celebrities and the rest of it, they encourage gambling. So it's just within every age bracket and it's painful. Watch this video. So what the Nigerian, so what the Nigerian government will do us? Okocha, see your hand work. Okocha, see your hand work. See your hand work, Okocha. Now, which one? Gambo. Gambo, now you bring for us, Okocha. You know, we better for you. Which one? Don't our money. See young boys. This, 12 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock midnight. So what the Okocha will do us? Nigerian government, help us, ban visual. This is for that, for that road, close to AP town. See this man, see I'm going to lose. Indian native, see that for ground. Nigerian government, we're help us, I beg. See I know you be a drug man, but help us, if you feel help us. Even here, I don't know if you like this, but I don't know if you like this. See drug man, help us. See the Nigerian youth, see them to us. Okosha, I know we better for you. The current people are going to kill us. You see how bad king can be this agro. Do you see how painful that video is? You see what we are talking about? Imagine lives wasting. All because they want a shortcut. You know one thing with this gambling thing is when you put 200 naira, they promise you they are going to give you 200,000. You lose the 200 naira and tomorrow you put 2,000 Naira, you may win 4,000. You're like, oh, okay, there is money in this thing. And the next time you put this, that's how they keep taking more than you actually gain. We have a serious problem. Why do we have this mindset of not working but wants to earn so much? No offense to hard working people because I'm not going to bait an eyelid like I don't know we have a lot of hardworking people in the country. And do you know the irony of this Britain? Those guys there are actually working hard because you need to have a substantial income to be wasting it on gambling. You get my point? So my pain here is not, I, like, I don't want to water down the hard work of Nigerian youth. You understand? I am not Buhari that called us lazy youth. No, it's not true. Nigerians are very very hard working but because of this because of this mentality of ego mbute fast money I want to make it quick I want to drive car before I get to 25 I want to build house before I get to 30 nobody is ready to sacrifice nobody is ready to you know trust the process nobody wants to make money in a you know slow and a steady manner they want a very fast means of making money. It has pushed them to a lot of horrible things. Example, this gambling. In this um, particular program, I've talked about ritual. I've talked about how a lot of people have lost their life because some people think if they kill their fellow human being, they will use part of their, you know, uh, part of their body to make money, fast money. Kakoya, Ojiro Ora. Odoguru na Taiwan, you know, all this nonsense has made a lot of people dip their hand in things that are so horrible, terrible things. So, I, I am not actually faulting those people entirely. When you have a dysfunctional government, a government that do not care about 60% of of uh, its population because whether you like it or not the youth make 60 percent of nigerian population they do not care 
They are not creating jobs. We have a lot of mineral resources in Nigeria. We have a lot of things that will cause so much employment in the country. But it is not happening. The old, we have clueless people up there that do not think about the economy. Things are skyrocketing. Things are so expensive. I just bought a bag of rice, 65,000 naira. I paid for it now before I started this video. It is painful. Now you imagine, how are these poor masses surviving in this kind of harsh condition? Fuel is so expensive. Apart from the ego butte mentality, some people are actually doing it to survive. Some people are trying to see like, okay, if I play with this money that I'm supposed to use and eat, it, 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 I will win another one that I will use and eat tomorrow. That is it. Wicked government. Nobody cares. Nobody sends. You don't, you, you, you are not putting people into consideration. Their only problem is to buy SUVs, bulletproof cars that will be driving them everywhere. Very greedy people. And if you think karma work, you are joking. Karma do not work. Because you see all those people that ruled Nigeria before, their children are actually the ones coming back now to rule. So, wipe away karma. Face yourself and face your life. If you are a gambler and you are seeing this video, I beg you. I don't even know how to beg you. Save yourself the heartache, the stress, because this government will not come to your aid. There is no need saying, government, do something about it, because that was all the person in the video was saying, ban this thing, ban what? Is it going to stop it? It will not. It will not. The government are doing nothing. So I want to talk to you directly for your peace of mind and for your mental health. Stop gambling. Use the money for something productive. Why we stay in this shithole called a country? Why we stay in this jungle where everything is just by survival? Save your mental health. That is my preaching today. Because I am tired of saying, government do this, government, they will not do anything. You and I know they will not do anything. So there is no need. You know me, my own is blunt. I say it as it is. Save yourself the stress, the pain, the misery, the frustration. Some people have committed suicide because of this, because of gambling. They've gambled away their house rent. They've gambled away their, their, their resources. Some people have gambled away their capital, their business capital, and they never made it. So put your mental head first. Even this gambling company will tell you, use your spare money. If you must, use your spare money. Just, you, you saw that video. Two things that is worrying this country. One, hunger. Two, mentality of making it quick. Whatever your, your hand find doing, do it well and do it diligently. It will bring money to you sooner or later. Oh, we want to drive car quick. Your mates are driving. You want to drive. You want to build us. You want to marry. You want to do this. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Easy on yourself. With, with, with this economy, with this country. Two, like I said, that is worrying us. And I hope one day there will be a solution to it. Don't be among them. Guide your mental health. Guide it jealously. That is it today on Reason with Queen. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment on those videos. You know, I just love reading your comments. And I reply some of them. So, until I come your way next time, I remain your humble girl, Queen Madu. Stay well, stay safe. Bye-bye.